Well, y'all, you know, we could have had a video to watch if Lee would hurry up and finish my Grinch video. And I'm gonna make sure I put it in the caption. If anybody is interested in being a Grinch in February, here's your video. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. What are you looking at? All of this happy and joy and joy, 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 joy. What is this about Christmas? Christmas is for losers. Losers. Losers, I tell you. All the people in Whoville. Happy and hoeing and he hoeing and hoeing. Ball humbug and petty patty Christmas and right over the ball. <laughs> you know what you can do? Stick the Merry Christmas right up your ass. Get your ass out of here. Yes, honey. This is Mrs. Grinch. I'm coming to steal and snatch your gifts. I'm coming to snatch your edges. And I'm coming to snatch your man. <laughs> Honey, my heart may be small, but my ass is big. Yes, ah, if y'all wanna see how you can get this glamorous Grinch look, darling, then stay tuned and let's get to it. It's Christmas time, it's time for Christmas. Let the children shine. Oh. Yes, honey, we are going to be doing this Grinch look, but let me tell y'all, girl, it's Sunday. I just had some Sunday dinner. Black folks' Sunday dinner consists of collard greens and fried chicken and biscuits and hog malt. White folks' Sunday dinner consists of croutons and mayonnaise sandwiches. But you know, we all do our own thing. But you know, I can afford to eat all the collard greens because I'm a top. See, if I was a bottom, I couldn't eat that. So bottoms, no collard greens on Sunday. Anyway, let's get to this Grinch look. Yes, honey, how the Grinch snatch your edges. Yes. I guess I decided this time to be nice and show y'all how I glue my eyebrows down. Lord knows I like giving back to the community. So get me old nasty toothbrush. You want to brush your hairs down. You know, now I see why RuPaul shaves her eyebrows off and gives you the alopecia look. It's much more convenient. But as a guy, girl, I want to still have a little bit of hair. So once you brush your brows down, it's going to be a little hard to see this because, bitch, she dirty. But this is Prose-Aid glue. I mean, it's like a spirit gum, but it's Prose-Aid and it's supposed to be, I guess, a little better than spirit gum. I have oily skin. No matter what glue I use, eventually it starts to wear away. But I do use this to glue my eyebrows down. And get to it. Mo, 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 how do you like it? Once you have enough on there, brush it up. And you want to kind of brush it the opposite way so that way it really gets into here. And I'm holding my brow so you can really see. Once we have our brows kind of like we want them, it should look something like this. Then I'm taking a neutral set, or you can use a super white clown white. I can't see that. Oh, sorry, y'all. But it's Ben Nye neutral set powder. Simple little sponge. And you want to go over that before you put your makeup on top. Let it dry a little bit though, before you put it on. We are going to move on to doing the nose. I could easily just draw on a little nose. Yeah, I said easily. The Grinch, to me, is basically like a green, angry ass cat. Look, <laughs> just really angry. So, yes, honey, you are a bad ass bitch when you keep your makeup inside of a Walmart grocery bag. Hello. <laughs> ah. So, spirit gum. I'm gonna go ahead and put this where I'm gonna put my fake nose part. So that way it's already tacky by the time I get ready to glue it on. And, going back to one of my old techniques. I cannot find white Play-Doh anywhere anymore. So I'm gonna use this modeling magic clay that I kinda honestly don't like because it gets hard really fast. Like my penis when I look at Lee Dawson late at night when I'm sitting home and I look at his chiseling muscles all sweaty and glistening. Anyway, um, 
You should have a little white doodle ball just like that. Taking my dry ass sounding hands again. Now that our nose has got a little tacky, like James Raxfield. Hey Nina, just make sure that we can really understand your words. Sorry. Now that our nose has got a little tacky, like James Mansfield's drag, now it's time to glue. And this is kind of how I did my Minnie Mouse nose. I'm just gonna use the end of a brush to like kind of just give it a little shape. Next, when we got our nose decent enough, I'm gonna take some liquid latex. Whatever brush you wanna use, use it. I'm gonna be a little ghetto and tacky and use the end of a brush because I'm lazy. Who's gonna fight me? And my finger. Who gonna hit me? And the point of the latex is kind of just to make it look a little more cohesive, a little more realistic and blend the edges around it. It's dried enough. I'm gonna get a little bit of that translucent powder that you used earlier on your eyebrow and then I'm gonna go over it just to kind of set it a little more. That's enough. Now, the fun part, but irritating part, and what I like to use is, this is Paradise Meron Water Activated Makeup. They're really good. They're very pigmented. Some colors take a longer time to put on. And I'm wondering, other artists out there, when you use white makeup or like white cream paint or clown white, is it harder to go on your skin or is it just me? Like, I don't. <laughs> so you want to get some water and activate it. Like back in the day when you used to have S curls, perms, you had to activate it, girl. Just for me. Just for me. Doo, 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 doo. These, I find that these sponges right here. Sorry, there was a pubic here. You want to just put it on. And I didn't tell y'all, but I've already had my skin prepped and primed because Lord knows I'm trying to get my skin back to what it used to be. And in case y'all are wondering, these contacts, I can't remember where I got them from, but this color is called Eagle Eyes. You know, peppermint kind of laughs like a like an eagle. <laughs> Don't forget to go down on your neck. <laughs> right now, you should be looking like She-Hulk, okay? I didn't paint the bottom of my ears because I just got my ears pierced about a week ago or so, and I'm scared to get an infected with, like, makeup. I plan on putting this clip-on earring just right there. We'll see how it goes. As you can tell, I put some, you see this clear stuff? That's Spirit Gun. It's a glue. The idea was I was going to originally draw my eyebrows, but I think I'm going to use some hairs that I cut off of this track and see what happens. That's the track, so. Let's see how this works. Uh, this may look a mess. I don't know, guys. I'm scared. We'll learn together. <laughs> um. <laughs> well, I mean... Okay, maybe I can trick it with some makeup. We'll play with this and see what happens. Cause I mean, the Grinch does have like wild eyebrows, but she's a fierce Grinch, so she has to be a little more fiercer. Yeah, but you know what? I kind of like it as wild, as bushy. She's a Grinch. And I'm quite sure once we get to the eyes, we'll hook it up. I hope. So now we're gonna move on to the highlighting, then come back to the eyes. I think I'm gonna try to highlight with this cream that's inside here. Let's start with the eyes to see what happens. So I guess we did on the And you know, and as highlighting goes, you wanna highlight the areas where the light hits you. Finish him! You're scratching me, bitch. I want to see what this yellow does real quick, too. I picture the Grinch having a little bit of, like, yellow tones. And this actually works pretty good, putting this right over this. And I want this Grinch look to be snatched. Then we can go in and start with our contouring. And this is from the Ben Nye Bruise Color Wheel. It had a green cream in there, so. And it's a darker green, which perfectly goes with what I'm doing, so why not? We want this bitch to be fierce, honey. Girl, she's gonna snatch Christmas gifts. She's gonna snatch your man. She's that kind of Grinch. Once we have our highlights and contours where we want them, 
blend. Simple as that. And just so I can like speed up the video, child, y'all know how to blend, hopefully. <laughs> Once your face looks like something that only a mother can love, that's when you know you've arrived, bitch. You've arrived. Now that we have our little creams on and stuff, we want to set. And I'm using that same translucent powder that we used earlier. And I'm going to let it sit underneath my eye, especially when we start doing our eyeshadows. Bitch, mama's cheekbones are sitting to the I'm going to put a little bit on my eyelids as well. Don't ask me why. Just go with it. You never question a makeup artist. You just go with the bullshit they say. Once we look like something that shouldn't have been born, then we know we're almost there. I'm going to do my little nose trick because you don't know how I am, honey. I may be a black person, but I want my nose to be privileged. Yes, there you go. Now, I'm gonna move on to my eyes. Here we go. I want a nasty crease. Oh gosh, do you see that? I know I do. <laughs> so I couldn't find my good brush, but being that I'm a makeup artist, I can make anything work. Oh, some of you may have a harder time, but it's okay. Rome wasn't built in a month. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit of white under my eye just to open it. Then I'm gonna come back with that black and just give more of the eye shape that I desire to have. And we're using the same little palette, cream palette from earlier that had the white and the red. And this is the black. Between you guys and us and me, whatever that meant, um, I don't know what color I wanna do. I thought glitter, but glitter is so hard to work with. <laughs> oh. Remember, do your face. Oh, sorry. Girl, let's just say last night I had a hot date. <laughs> this palette right here is called Take Me to Brazil. Oh my God, did I say Brazil? Suka suka now. You know, there's an old saying that when you mention Brazil, all those crazy Brazilian people come out of nowhere and they say, Nina, Nina, but Nina Brown, come to Brazil. Ah! I know, I'm scared too, bitch. Girl. Okay. I'm gonna use this green that's in here. You guys, my eyeshadow right now is creasing more than Peppermint's hairline. Now I'm using a little bit of like yellow and coming here in my inner corner. And I'm lazy and using the same brush. Y'all, don't do everything I do. Be a better artist. But the reason why I'm not caring about the creasing right now is because I plan on hiding it with glitter. <laughs> and I'm gonna use this same palette because you wanna make sure you have different shades of green. So that way it goes along with the characters that you're doing. So have you hoes been naughty or nice? Well, I know me, because I'm dying on my. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and fill my little Grinch nose in so the things start to make sense to y'all. Then we'll come back and put some shadow on it and stuff, but I just wanted to do that so I can start seeing my fantasy. The good thing about wearing this big ass moo moo is that right now my penis is out and hanging out and doing his thing. Hello. We are going to experiment today. Today's word is experiment. Can you spell that? I know I can. E-X-C-P-R-A-T-I-M-O-N-T. Experiment. Oh, I haven't even opened this yet. Yes. This is a magic glitter primer. Knowing me, it came from somewhere cheap. <laughs> I'm gonna just rub that all 
over the island. Lee, do me a favor, sis. When you record this, edit this video, please don't zoom in on this part so they can clock my crease and crease. Yes, please help, sis. Now we're gonna use this dazzling green glitter from BH Cosmetics. Oh yes, honey. We are gonna be the belle of the ball. Let's move on to eyeliner. You know, I was just on a live video and somebody was saying that, you know, they weren't good with eyeliner. And I was telling them that I could tell by their wedding pictures. I won't say their names though. <laughs> Cause you know, I hate being messy. It's not my style. Okay, that's pretty much good enough. And as always, I come up with black eyeshadow. And I bring this in to give it that kitty cat, kitty cat, kitty cat. Wow, kitty cat stole my back, back cow. Kitty cat, cat, kitty cat, cat, cow. You can never cat my cow. Okay. Now that I am done digging in my Walmart plastic bag for my makeup brushes, we can now get some black eyeshadow. You wanna set it with powder. And I'm using this black eyeshadow from Urban Decay because it's so hard to find a good black shadow. This is called Blackout. Now we are going to move on to eyelashes. These are 101s. And you can find this from your beauty supply store. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me, that's not Grinch-like. But you're not allowed to go in a beauty supply store if you don't have beauty, so. <laughs> and like I told you, I like to use actual hair glue because it holds better. Okay, here we go. And I like to lift mine a little above my lash and then just blend my lash in so that way it gives it that wing effect. And then get you some mascara. Wouldn't that be a sickening drag name? Mascara. Yes. And there you have it. Your socket to me eyes. Okay, kitty. See, I'm gonna put some highlight under my eyes. And by highlight, I mean super white, clown white. Well, cause with this look, I mean, what other color can you use besides white? Let's sit for a little bit. Now I'm going to my lips. So I'm gonna be doing my lips really big and bratsy like. So I'm gonna start with a trace of it. Once we got our lips, I'm using Night Moth by MAC. Once we have our lips looking like we could swallow a watermelon, I'm gonna clean around my lips with some little concealer, AKA Clown White, AKA I Just Stole It. Now, once you got that around there, of course, you blend it. I couldn't find my Ruby Woo. I don't know what the hell this is, but it's red. <laughs> I'm gonna put this red gloss on by NYX Cosmetics. That's N-Y-X, NYX Cosmetics. Yes, God. Let's see what she does. I'm doing this because I'm going to put glitter on my lips. But here goes a, a word of advice. If you put glitter on your lips, and I know I have a lot of children watching this, so let me say this in PG-13 terms. If you put glitter on your lips and you plan on going down on your significant other, be careful, because you don't want the glitter to go inside of their hole. Okay, carry on. I'm also going to use that glitter primer that we used earlier. Now it's time for the glitter. Have any of y'all seen that movie by Mariah Carey called Glitter? Hell no. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> And the good thing about red lipstick is that it makes your teeth look white. Even when you have busted, yellow, dusted teeth like some of my Drag Race sisters, red lipstick always makes it look better. <laughs> JK, I said JK. <laughs> this glitter that I'm using is basically like some arts and craft glitter. And it's really pretty. I'm using this little flat brush. I'm still gonna let this highlight sit here, but I'm gonna move on to my cheeks, girl, because you know cheeks are my favorite part, darling. And I want these cheekbones to say, I'm better than you. Yes, God. 
So we're gonna go back to that green. We are gonna just come and buff her and give her life. Uh, oh, excuse me, that was not Grinch-like. Well, actually, no, that would be Grinch-like because they nasty. Once I kind of have my cheeks as far as like the contour where I want it, I'm gonna cut it. Being that the Grinch has like these little, like like, a, like those little whisker holes, I was debating on not doing this, but I think I'm gonna do it. So here we go. I did not mean to do that one that big, but whatever. Well, I probably could have used like little diamonds. Yes. I'm gonna try to just use some like shimmer glitter. And by doing that, I am going to use this NYX glitter primer and put it where I want it on my cheekbones. I'm gonna use this little brush right here. This is, um, girl, I don't know what the hell this is. Girl, it doesn't even have a label anymore. <laughs> it's like a white, shimmery, frosty color. Oh, okay, I like, okay, I see it, I see her. Yes, what a highlight. Oh, yes, God. Yes, oh, you wanna blend this off. <laughs> so I'm gonna blend this, and I'm gonna come back with my wig, and the look will be complete. <sighs> Ta-da! Oh my God, you did it. You did it, guys. You did your Grinch look. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for being around and sticking with me and watching this grow. I love all of you. All of you. Oh gosh. Always remember to stay beat, stay blessed, and stay beautiful. And don't forget to dislike and unsubscribe. Until next time, bye. She's a mean one. Mrs. Grinch, uh-uh.